Okay, well, I did a few minutes off screen here to try and fix a few things. I fixed my wall because I spent a little bit of time examining things, and the, it, it was this this entire segment here wasn't being built because it was over the ocean. In fact, uh, the wagon is basically out on a little edge, dangling at the edge of the ocean. So there's no way for me to build a wall around it because it's just surrounded by open space. And if I build a wall on that open space, um, the ocean will crash through, which is what's happening here, or was happening here, until I just sealed it off with a, a little piece of wall right there. It was coming up in a crack, apparently. So this whole area is uh, sealed off, hopefully, from the waves, except for some that may be crashing down over the stairwell here. Or maybe somewhere else. <laughs> This could possibly be an impossible mission. Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of immigrants, migrants, and uh, they're named. So you can see them running around. Now what the heck? You know what, I'm just going to double this whole wall up. It has been a few days since I've played too, so I'm probably going to continue just to do stupid stuff throughout the rest of this video. Um... That's right, last time I was building the mine tracks, the mine carts, the mine cart tracks, and failing horribly at it. Oh crap, vultures. Right, the birds are going to be trying to steal stuff, but I failed at building the track. I looked it up on the wiki a little bit, I still don't completely understand it, uh, so I'm still going to be kind of messing things up. But hey, at least I understand animal training now. I need to make an animal training zone. That's what I believe it said. What? Alex just got here and he already drowned? Well... No, Alex didn't just get here. He's been here for a while, hasn't he? Hmm... He must have fell off the edge there. I don't see his body down there. Well, rest in peace, Alex. You're the first beach drowning. Yeah, where was he? I didn't see his body down there, dang it. Huh. Well, I think, I think that's the first casualty, then. Let's see. Enable a few different skills here for the migrants that are arriving. I didn't actually get them set up. Okay... Everybody's a medic. We got one child in the group, unfortunately. One of the things I may end up doing is creating a children's part of the resort here. And um, just making them kind of go live on their own. Which means inevitably the super mutants will find them. Or something else equally horrible. But come on, we, we don't really need them around here anyways, do we? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nose deep in Dwarf Therapist right now. Hopefully nothing major is happening on the screen over there, because I haven't looked at it. Okay, everybody gets all that stuff. Cleaning, alchemy. And okay. Needs empty cage. You know what, let's just... Wait, that's... Where's this? I'm not sure why they're canceling their jobs. Cancels load cage trap. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, that one's suspended. Good. So I need to produce a few more cages, huh? That'll be pretty straightforward. Let's see, what do we got? The floor is actually done, huh? Kind of surprised. Or is it done? No, it's not done. It's not even really started. I was getting a little bit excited there, but jumped the gun. So, Oh yeah, another thing I did off screen. I made a second squad here, the Tongs of Saving, led by x -Scoot, who is a skilled hammerman. And I need to give them a place to train. 
I did set up a barracks down here, right? Yes. A very, very basic barracks. It's a barren barracks. The claptrap is fighting. When was that? Oh. Our poor little claptrap was killed by a vulture, huh? That must have been what happened. Needs. Which cage trap? Hey, albino cow. Yes. Did we capture any of them? Needs empty cages. Wait, why is Variax throwing a tantrum? What is going on? Calm down, vault dwellers. We'll be fine. It, which cage trap are they trying to load? Okay, you know what? Hang on. If I can remember my keys here. I'm just going to forbid all of these cage traps for now. I obviously don't have all of the cages I need made for them. Let's see, Carpenter's Workshop. Make a bunch of cages. I'm going to have to send a bunch of people outside to chop down trees too, I think. Okay. Give a command, chop down everything right there, which is two piles of scrap. Okay. There we go. A lot of stuff. A lot of trees are on the edge of that little mountain there. That'll keep some of them busy for a while. And... Okay, I actually I do have a wood stockpile, don't I? I'm down to four pieces. What cage trap are you trying to load, you big jerk? They shouldn't be trying to unload any of them. Or to load any of them, I mean. Oh wait, I have some up there too, goodness. Okay, I'm just going to forbid all of them. I think we have captured something. Yes, a vulture in that one. A black cow in that one. And another black cow in that one. That is good. So, we've got some of them captured. I need an animal training zone. No, I could make this section the uh, animal training zone, I think. Animal training, there we go. T. I don't have to set anything else on it, do I know? So good. Now, how do I make them train animals? Let's see. A stray Mr. Gutsy, that's a work animal. Not tame, not tame. How do I select OK? J. Clar. Wait a second. I actually better check the dwarf therapist for this. Hey, J. Clar, you are the. Uh, most skilled animal trainer that we've got. So, you can train that one, and that one, and a vulture. You can go train all of them. Oh, a dead dog. You know what? I bet Variax killed that dog. His husband is Irish. Like, why is he throwing a tantrum? Uh, grumbling about long patrol duty, slept in a good bedroom, lost a friend, lost a pet. I think that back-to-back -back combo there just kind of pushed him over the edge. Well, apologies. Maybe, wait, do we have any other pets that we can possibly assign to him? Okay, Variax gets the war gutsy right there. If that doesn't cheer him up, I don't know what would. I mean, as much as I would hate absolutely hate to lose my dog. I'd be pretty damn excited about getting a robot warrior companion like that. <laughs> Get out of here, vultures! That black... That, that cow there, that albino cow, is going to kill one of the vault dwellers, I can just tell. They're gonna get too close, it's gonna hoof them right in the face. Okay, unsuspend... Unsuspend this one. Is there is there any way for him to get out there? Open space? No. They built this in the wrong order. I should have known that they would, but... I trusted him. Oh, look. I think that sealing all of that off did help. And yes, Barryax has been calmed by his new uh, robot companion. Just a little bit of mist came through there. OK. 
Okay. They'll get both of those walls built up. This one and this one, and then we'll seal it off again. And, okay, well, who is injured now? The war Mr. Gutsy is fighting. No, Variax! He walks up to the Mr. Gutsy and punches him, his new friend. He kicks the Mr. Gutsy in the lower arm, falls down and stands up twice, punches it in the hall, it stands up again. Uh, yeah, Variax just broke the dog's neck. Maybe kicked him down or something like that. Well, Variax is not very happy. Please don't get yourself killed by the Mr. Gutsy war robot. Um, let's see. Dextralis Diamond Raptor is its name. It does have a plasma gun. One shot from that and we're going to have a dead V on our hands. I could have them stand down for a while, but I want them to get used to the con I want them to get used to being on duty. I'm going to need to build I need to build a a barracks somewhere, I think. Some efficiency living there because all of the bedrooms have been taken. They've all been spoken for. We don't really need that wall, that floor there. Now that I'm not gonna, I don't have to make this wall two levels high. I found out it was actually a leak in the floor. And Variax and Ilgar are sparring. He's decided to take out his anger in a more productive manner here by beating the crap out of Ilgar. Right there. In the middle of the cave with the Mr. Gutsy cheering on and the puppy is running between their legs. And hey, an outpost uh, liaison has arrived. Is that our caravan from... Our... Yeah, it is. It's a caravan from our... Our main vault. It's not the mountain home anymore. The Lean Theater. At least I think that's ours. There's, a, there's our president. He didn't arrive. Volcanus Hypojugum Tracto. Okay, at least we have a president. Our vault is obviously doing rather well. I don't have enough people chopping down trees, apparently. We're not able to keep up with the demand for cages. There's some more locks. Okay, you know what? No, wait, never mind. I was going to claim all of the cage traps there, but we probably still cannot uh, fill them all, unfortunately. Did we ever get this wall built down here? No, it actually looks like it was cancelled, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You know what? Here, just build it like that probably going to get themselves trapped on the other side, but... I, oh well if they do. I'll free them, but oh well if they do. Um, these are all the feral dogs that we killed, right? Feral dog skeleton, yes, okay. Just kind of wondering. If there was a massacre while I wasn't looking. What's Ilgar up to? Wait a sec. No, wait. What's J. Clar up to? Oh, wow. He's out there carrying logs back home. I need to really quick uh, switch off a bunch of his abilities here so that he'll go tame those animals. I think that's more important for his abilities right now than doing a bunch of menial labor hauling stuff around. Okay. <clears throat> And they are still sparring down there. Got him go. Ilgar slashes Variax in the head with the copper hacksaw, lightly tapping it, laughing. Headshot. You're too slow, old man. Ilgar slashes Variax in the right lower leg. Variax adjusts his 
grip on Ilgar's arm if he, as he tries to push the hacksaw away. They tumble to the ground. Variax kicks Ilgar in the ribs. He winces and stands back up and goes back to hacking and slashing at him. So they're doing good there, training. Oh, please don't throw each other in the water. I can just see one of them tumbling down there into the water. I'm not sure if they'd be able to get back up. They're living life dangerously, fighting on the edge as the water laps against the edge there. And winter is here. And a dust storm is here, too. This is where we get to find out if this is going to freeze or not. If, this, if these ocean waves freeze in the middle of surrounding my vault dwellers, anybody caught in the ice will probably die. If there's like a whole cloud of puppies there, they'll instantly get killed. I'll have puppy sickles. Oh, and I'll be down a bunch of war dogs. Do I have any goods to trade? I have two socks. Actually, you know what? I better keep the socks. Clothing is going to be another problem. No, I don't have anything. Nothing to trade. Maybe in order to get Ilgar to train those things, too. I need to claim those cages. That might help speed it up, because he's, he's apparently deciding to dig stuff out right now. You know what? Hang on. One thing I don't want is a stockpile over my stairs. There we go. I don't mind food and stuff being crammed around them, but... Oh, wait. You can't do multiple Z-level designations for removing stockpiles? Nope. Wait. Yes, you can. Why didn't that work going up, then? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm just doing that wrong, I don't know. It doesn't seem like you can remove stockpiles across sea levels. Like you can dig a, a stairwell or anything like that. And hey, they built that wall without being trapped on the other side. I'm proud of them. They grow up so quick. Okay. Ocean waves, open space. So we can build it right there. You know what, just bring it in one. We're going to get all these waves sealed off soon enough. In fact, in preparation for that, I want to also remove all of those ramps right there. Okay, well maybe not all of them. I can um, leave those ones right there. Because I can't remove these ones no matter what I do. They're too close to the edge of the map to remove. I could wall them. I can't even wall them in, actually. Because I can't build a wall right here, so... Anything that arrives on the top of this plateau will be able to get to us one way or another. Unless I build the wall over this way and then down and seal off this back section. Which I could. I might. It's early winter, tent moonstone, population of 18. And, you know what, let's place some coffins here. Um, let's see, could we place them? What would be the best way, right? Just line them up kind of like this, maybe? Line them up along this entire, w on, along each wall there, and then kind of bring them in stacks of two in the middle. And hopefully that's in, hopefully that'll be all the coffins that we need for a while. I'll build a fancier designated tomb if they survive that long. Yeah, some, wait, is there a wall there already? Ocean wave. Yeah, there is a wall there. The waves are just crashing over it, I think. Pretty interesting. I think it's time to dismantle the wagon, though. 
As much as I would like to build a shrine around it, it's simply in too dangerous of a location. The merchants will be leaving soon, even though they haven't arrived to even start unloading, have they? Where are they? Um, merchant, merchant, merchant. No, they're still down there. Why? They should be able to make their way around here. Do I not... Huh. Well, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because they started right there where the waves are crashing in. Oh, also, I may have broke something. Because um, I patched up to a new version. Which I thought was save game compatible. And it probably is, I just don't know what I'm doing. And probably messed up the installation somehow. No, I'm just going to request a whole bunch of stuff here. I don't really care what it is. Because I'm not... I, I don't expect this fortress to last that long. I should probably plan for it to last that long, but there's a good chance that it won't. Pretty good chance. Okay. For now, until I get things set up better, we're just going to have stockpiles here. This is stockpiles of cloth. Um, what else do we need in here? It might as well keep a stockpile of, um, apparently, trade agreements, too. This is all the stuff they want. Put, we'll put, I'll put some corpses here. A stockpile of corpses, because we'll probably have a lot of people dying before too much longer. And I want a place to keep them. Uh, I think maybe... Maybe that'll be all for now. I mostly just want to clear this up, all of this stuff there. So I do need a finished good stockpile. I'll place that out here by the trade depot, right there. In fact, we'll make two of them. Wait a second. One of the things I can do. Good. I can hook a wheelbarrow up to it. We'll put two on that one, two on that one. It'll take from anywhere, links only. Take it from a pile, give it to a pile. I don't really need to make it more advanced than this right now. I think there are, there are, you can hook it up to other stockpiles and hook it up to workshops, I think, so that only certain workshops will deliver to certain stockpiles. But I don't have to worry about that just yet. The operation is not that significant. And there they go, they take the wheelbarrows off and start running away, grabbing items. I wonder, maybe that would be a good idea to... Okay, merchant, I don't care about you, liaison, whatever you're doing here. So maybe this would be a good idea to... Um, what else? Do I have to make a wheelbarrow for each stockpile? Like if I sign one here and one here and one here and one here, do I have to have one for each stockpile? Is that what that means? I would just like my dwarves to use wheelbarrows uh, as often as they can for every stockpile. There he goes. Storing items in stockpiles. I look forward to meeting uh, you next year. Our fortunes rise and fall together, feral rumpus tells us before he takes off to go join his merchant friends who were too scared to come see us. They just looked, they, they just stared at us from across the way there, thinking how foolish we were to be trying to build on the ocean side. It's all gonna be washed away. Um, did they drop a wheelbarrow out there? They did. A scrap one, filled with 15 pieces of scrap, wow. I'll uh, make that out of andesite. Stretch that one to right there. And... Actually, I think I can stretch this wall all the way over here. Losing a lot of ground there, but oh well. <clears throat> It'll have to do. Yeah. 
That'll speed things up a lot. In fact, I need to make more of those, I'm sure. Can I make them out of rocks? Table, millstone. You know what? Doors, armor stands, thrones, armor stands, um, and more weapon racks. And over here, I want even more cages. As many cages as you can make. And over here, a couple mine carts and some wheelbarrows. And this craftsman shop. I guess that I, I could. I probably have enough rocks now that I could set them just to craft, um. Rock. Like rock mugs and things like that now. In fact, after we're done crafting all of that, just pump out a continual line of mugs there. Something for the next merchants that show up so that we can trade with them. Mugs won't bring in that much money, but it's better than having nothing. I can't wait till I do get a mine track that works. I'm not going to attempt it just yet, though. I want to get things a little bit more uh, solidified around here. Okay. See where that ends. Build the wall that far, and then right there. And we're almost going to have this sealed off. There might be a little bit of surf that comes around the edge right there. <clears throat> Just a little bit, maybe. So how are they doing? Oh yeah, you know, one thing I could put... I could put a stone stockpile out here so that they haul rocks out here next to the project. I think somebody mentioned that somewhere. That way, like this guy is doing here, they don't have to haul one rock from the depths of the vault. I could just have a stockpile right here that people are bringing ten at a time and dumping them into the stockpile. If I have any larger projects out here, I might do it. That wall's coming along beautifully. How's our wood stockpile? You can see, yeah. Uh, so they need a, a wheelbarrow for each individual stockpile. There's probably a better way to do that. I'm sure if I linked these stockpiles to one main stockpile, um, they would probably still use a wheelbarrow without having to assign it to each one. That'll be something I, I test out later, probably. Just to see if it works. Food. And yes, the magnificent dining hall is done. Look at this. This place is massive. Um, let's get it set up a little bit. One, two. From the edge. And that'll be one, two. It's pretty close. To each other anyways so let's see we'll have tables I don't, really I only have I only have that many wow okay I need more mason shops apparently I need a lot more tables and chairs that should be pretty much in the dead center of the dining hall here what are you making doors thrones okay Infinite tables and infinite thrones. They'll get around to it eventually. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure of it anyways. Uh, you know, I'm not sure that they can actually reach the wagon right now. I'm going to have to remove that piece of the wall. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do not even think about trapping yourself there. You guys saw what he was trying to do, right? Who is that? Irish Luck? He's about to kill himself. You have to watch them. Yes, that stopped. Just a little bit of splash there and no more waves inland. 
It's kind of a pity that we're ruining that, that natural beauty there of the water crashing onto the beach, but dang it, we need fortifications here. Even though I don't really know how this is going to help fortify us. Because what's going to happen is we're going to have guys come up here and just start shooting us from down below. J. Clar is sleeping. Okay. I'm going to reclaim all of my cage traps. And he had better start training soon. He doesn't really have any other jobs turned on. Animal care, animal training, and trapping. That's really, that's pretty much it. Mm. What do we need here? I have wheat, I believe. Hemp. More hemp. And... More wheat. Yeah, more wheat. I gotta see, what type of seeds did I bring along? Um, cave fungi? Okay, I do have wheat and hemp. And I didn't see soybean, so cave fungi and soybean are apparently for below ground. Soybean anywhere? No. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't even need this plot right here. I'll get an underground farm going soon enough. I just don't know when. Uh, I do have this set up as a hospital zone, right? No. Okay, there we go. I don't really... I don't think I need to adjust any of these numbers either. I mean, I don't know exactly how much thread and cloth this is. I'll bump them both up to 100,000. Splints and crutches to 10. That way they don't set in the stockpile. I've almost... I don't think I've ever had powder for casts. Buckets. They need a lot of buckets. And soap. Up to 1,500. I'm not going to have soap for a while either, though. No! A tamed vulture that we had. Apparently he was tamed in his cage, but he's reverted back to his wild state. Dang it, Jaclar. You tried, so he did tame them. Or at least he tamed the vulture. And Jaclar is actually... He's going to go train it again. Ooh, the, the the black cows are tamed. They're domesticated. Overall training. Okay, this is the knowledge we have. Let's see. Death claws. Wow. We have a general familiar... 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 I can't pronounce it tonight. It's just too fucking much, apparently. I'm having one of those nights. Um, even giant spiders? Helmet snakes? We can tame robots, that's nice. Protectrons. Voracious cave dweller crawlers. So we can tame a good number of animals, it look like looks like. I'm really interested in the death claws and the giant spiders though. If I can actually tame some of those, that would be amazing. Um, let's see. We'll put both of the black cows in here. The vulture can can wait though. And the warbot. The Mr. Gutsy doesn't need to be kept in the pen anymore. He has a master. Or an owner. Someone he has to protect anyways. Okay. Still on minecarts, cages. Almost getting to mugs. They're on thrones there. And for some reason, those two workshops are not being used that much. Oh well. So what did I give every dwarf? What are those? Are those cabinets, coffers? Do I have any coffers? No. I don't. Um, oh well. I'll flesh out the rest of the rooms later, apparently. And... What is this? This stockpile can go. We're not even keeping the other stockpile filled up, so... What I want to do is turn this into kind of a barracks area. Crunch it down like that. 
and it's not going to be a very pretty area. There we go. Place. We'll have doors right here. And this is pretty much just going to have beds in it. Let's see. Wait, no. I want to get a, a mark in the very center here. Between the edges, anyways. Okay. I do this to kind of section it off and ensure that it's kept balanced a little bit. These walls really don't serve any purpose. There's not going to be doors between them. They'll be just to break up the room a little bit. And that way maybe I can place even more beds in here. We'll have beds lining this, this, uh, this wall and this wall. I'll leave those rounded edges. And... I think... I think that this will work. They'll probably have that dug out really quick. I'm hoping. <laughs> I don't know. We have some pretty decent miners at this point. Okay, what's that? A quiver, a barrel, an iron anvil. That falls under furniture, I think. Oh boy. If I make a furniture stockpile, all the doors and tables and chairs. All of those things will be carried out here too. Or at least to wherever that stockpile goes. Okay, so this is done. Or, well, not done, but I can set it up a little bit. So that's as far as it'll stretch. That's a pretty good length. Let's see. Wow. That takes up pretty much the entire dining hall, actually, so yeah. There we go, there's the dining hall. I like it. Hopefully they do too, and then maybe it'll stop them from going so crazy. And yes, it is a meeting hall area. This will make it so that people will stop going out to stand on the corpse of the, de of the deceased wagon now. All the animals will start coming out here and hanging, and for some reason... Why is, um, why is he injured? A, B, C, man. D. Are you injured? He's thirsty. Disgusted by miasma. Complained of the lack of chairs. He probably took a nice big gulp of that blood brew. Yeah, he's not really injured. Is he drinking the blood brew right there? Let's see what he, he does. He has a blood brew barrel, so... It made him think he was sick and dying. But he'll be fine. He'll get over it. He'll manage. It's better than not having anything to drink. Come on. Tables and chairs. Make them for me. Almost have all of this done too. Nice. I'm probably going to end the recording soon. This session, anyways. These future videos are going to jump between 30 minutes long and an hour long. I don't know what we'll be doing whenever I come back. We've got a little bit of native aluminum there. I may be trying to get one of the industries going. Maybe I'll, I'll start to build some scrap yards. Um, I have to figure out where I'm going to build them, though. Because the main source of scrap that we're going to be getting is from over here. But we're really not going to be going over here until I get the mine track done. Because what I want to do, and I don't even know if this is possible, I want to launch the mine cart over to this side. I want the dwarfs to fill it up with scrap, and then I want to launch it back over the water there. I mean, I, I, I know what I want to do with the mine track, I just don't know how to do it yet. But we will. 
Even if several people have to die in the process. Okay. I'm gonna have to chop down a lot of trees here. Because they're not chopping quick enough, and I think that we're actually running out. Oh, wait, I... Whoops. I don't... Oh, please tell me I did not try to carve a track through that entire area. I, it doesn't look like that command took, thankfully. However, I may have just designated that entire back half of the map to be dug into a railroad, a mine cart track. If I did, the dwarfs are going to be tied up for a while. But, hopefully they start chopping down all those trees, too, and get them hauled over here. So whenever we come back, um, just more of the same here. I'm sure that at some point we're going to be ambushed by something. We haven't even had thieves show up yet, unless you count the birds. It is second obsidian, late winter. We have a population of 18 because poor sweet old Alex um, died and was carried away somewhere. I think he drowned. Honestly, we may never find out. Let's see. Yep. In fact, I should have looked at this before, but Alex and the vulture got into it. The vulture was biting him in the arms and the legs, and he was slapping at it, stumbling backwards, and then he fell. Right into the ocean, knocked his head, just plumb silly, and drowned right there on the edge of the beach. Horrific story. 